All right, here we go. Aw, damn. <laughs> wow, Torn Prayer Scroll and Dark Relic. <laughs> damn it. Why the Torn Prayer Scroll, man? Yo, I never thought I would actually get my Slayer XP so high, but yeah, the Imbuhar grind is definitely putting my Slayer experience in crazy, crazy amounts. 20 million has been passed recently. I didn't really notice it until just now, so... Yeah, I guess uh, almost to 21 mil. Yo, 87 mining, guys. I'm definitely enjoying Motherlo a bit more after the uh, Fald or Lady Diaries completed for sure. Definitely feeling that, you know, increased XP rate, so that's really nice. So I can get 88 in, I guess, in under 10 hours of chill AFKing here, so. Oh, I got a dark bow. Holy shit. Nice. Gotta take that. I wish I could use the dark bow for something else. Like, you know how whips I can use to add to tentacle whips. But yeah, unfortunately, dark bow doesn't have any of that. But uh, I'll take it. You know, just nice to have a big stack of these. Alright, so I got 10 totems saved up again. So I'm using them up now. Any... I'm looking for uh, elite clue scrolls though only for my masters. One totem left. Uh, where's the elite clues though, man? Yes! There we go. Got the elite clue, man. Alright, that's another 200 rune darts. Thank you very much. Nice! I got back-to-back -back elite clues. Alright, back-to-back master clues, so... Let's go, man. Ornament kit, please. That'd be really nice. Ooh, half moon spectacles. Holy shit. That is a unique item, though. That's for sure. Damn, that, that makes me look like me in real life, dude. Alright, this can be a really- oh shit, it is a PR, nice. I beat my uh, other raid by like a few seconds. Not bad. <gasps> oh my god. Oh man. That is a crazy solo. I mean, this is the second time I have soloed the ancestral rope top while let me show you how many ancestral tops I have on this account. Three of them. That's crazy. That's uh, too too many, right? I would have loved to get an ancestral bond because honestly, yo, I'm tired of this Aram skirt, dude. Like it's heavy as hell, and it just doesn't match the other ancestrals. I mean, damn, I would kill to trade over my placeholders for like a bottom, but that's not how it works. You know, you gotta grind rates for that stuff, but. So far, I guess in the most recent 200 raids, I've gotten two drops that claws and, and the third top. So, you know, it's still nice to see drops though. So I am waiting for that lucky RNG moment at raids again. I think I've lost it. I would love to get that 12 unique man. That's going to be so nice. I wonder what it's going to be. All right, very nice. So I am collecting some more marks and now I have reached 81 agility. So what I'm looking forward to is not failing so much on this course because yeah if I could uh, lower that failure rate then I can get some more courses done in the hour which means you know more marks an hour but yeah we're getting there 227k to 82 is gonna be a uh, quite a few hours of grinding a Jody but yeah need marks anyways for them solo rates Yo, I know some of you guys remember these flax, right? When I was going for my torture, I freaking spun basically 112,000 of these. But um, yeah, also uh, throughout time, I guess I have K'd a fletching a bit. I made 30,000 magic longbow. So I guess when I want to do some short AFK, I can go and just do uh, magic longbow making. Why not? I mean, sometimes I just got a few minutes where I kind of need to do something else and yeah this is perfect oh my god this is crazy i'm pring this raid fasa to mutadal five bosses two agility rooms one ice demon holy shit i could probably get 40k points this raid we'll be super close to 40k points holy shit 39k damn that's crazy. 39k for a pretty abysmal reward. Ew, that's disgusting, bro. What the f Oh man, Soul Peter prices like crashed so bad. 
But that's crazy, dude. That's a new point PR. Hell yeah, dude. Freaking Abyssal just starting off the task. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, this Abyssal Demon Superior is almost dead. Just gotta get one last hit. There we go. Wish me luck. Okay, well, completed another totem. Now, I haven't checked in a day or two, so let me just see. Oh man, I'm 152 Superior KC, so I already hit over 150. Damn. Only 48 left. And then I have 200 superior KC. Seen a lot of my friends get their imbue hearts recently, man. <laughs> I need to be the next one, please. Okay, okay. Why does this keep happening? Another shield left half. Saved up. I'm gonna put this shield left half. 12. Oh my god. The last two months, I just have gotten 8 shield left halves. Crazy, I've never seen anything like this. Well guys, a few updates have come out today, but the one that piques me the most right now is that the Magic Cave now has five spell book swaps now that you can use a day. Honestly, with five spell book swaps for my Magic Cave, I don't think I really need to go back to my house at all. So yeah, I think the Magic Cave is just gonna cover all of that, which is crazy. So it'll save me some time every day. So I got a uh, quite a bit of mithril bars from my dust devil task throughout these few months. So I had like 1,800, and I decided to turn them all for some quick XP into uh, mithril paint bodies. And yeah, 330 made. And I'm really close now to 89 smithing, which I will be getting today. This specific amount is just from raids, so I just need to smell about 2k, and I'll be at 89 smithing. This is going to be the last inventory for the level guys. There it is, 89 smithing. That is awesome. Oh, what? A bunch of other stuff too besides the rune darts. That's nice. There's also that master clue emote skill requirement where I have to make rune darts too. So I don't have to boost for that either. All right, second superior task is done as well. Wow, that's that was very clutch actually. But uh, unfortunately, no sign of the imbue hearts. Okay, we're at 155 now. GG. All right, let's check this out, man. Second uh, harp of the day. I'm looking for that new uh, master book thingy for the teleports, or not? Dark Cavalier. So come on, check it out. Oh wow, it is a unique item. Second hard clue of the day. Check it out. Oh shit, master clue. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna be doing a master clue first before I head over to raid. All right, let's pop open this master clue man the one previously I got a unique item I think so uh, let's see if I can get another one. Oh, what glove of darkness I have two boots of darkness but now I have a glove of darkness cool oh wow okay I didn't manage to uh, beat my point PR I knew it I really needed a fossa if I want to beat my points but my second best points though, 38k. Oh my god, I've never seen a normal price check this crazy, 700k, wow. So Jagex updated the Preserve Prayer this week and it is so much better now. Boosted stats now last 50% longer if you use this prayer and that is huge because it's perfect for any occasion where you have to boost, whether it be for like a clue scroll challenge or like for a quest now with the 50 percent your stats will last a minute and 30 seconds instead of the usual minute so it's so nice your chances of you know accidentally losing your boost will be diminished by a significant amount if you use preserve and also it's perfect for slayer as you can see that means i don't have to you know use my potions as much because my stats will stay really high for about 50 percent longer so that's amazing it'll save me on potions as well and also, it doesn't drain your prayer that much. It's only 3 prayer points a minute if you use Preserve. So you can regain your prayer points super easily just with one prayer potion or an SGS if you have it. So super cheap and sustainable and very beneficial. So I started the Imbue Heart grind in the beginning of June. So it's almost been 2 months now since then. But during that time, I have gotten over 150 Superior KC. Unfortunately, the imbue heart is incredibly rare, so I might not be seeing it anytime soon, but I would love to be able to get the imbue heart before summer is over. And in terms of the race grind, I've been working on that for many months now. 
and uh, up to today's time I'm now at 646kc with no sign of the twistable I haven't seen a single one yet not even in my team members which is pretty crazy but yeah still missing the buckler still missing ancestral bottoms the elder mall and the twisted bow but uh, I'm waiting for that 12th unique man I, I feel like it's gonna come soon because once I get that I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of corp again I wanna get like 500kc but not until I get this 12th unique item I will continue to work on these two crazy RNG goals and hopefully I can make some progress on one of those and if you are new to series and you want to stay up to date with future episodes from this series feel free to subscribe other than that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and i hope to see you soon with another one in a few days